Howdy folks and welcome back to Bagel Dog DIY. I'm your host Ben. We're just going to get right into it today. We are doing some nickel gap shiplap on the ceiling. This is kind of the last thing I do to this laundry room, a finishing touch if you will. We're going to start about halfway into it because it's a pretty straightforward process. Just putting a shiplap ceiling over a sheetrock existing ceiling. You can see right here, I only have one light fixture to mark on this ceiling. That's what you see me doing. And any uh, finish type of work like this, it's easiest just to hold your board up there and mark your board and to measure for this box. You're going to be way more accurate. So I'm just marking it out there. It is an octagonal box or hexagonal. or no, I guess it's octagonal. Yeah, it's an octagonal box. So I'm kind of cutting one half of the octagon right now. Take it out to the shop and just use the jigsaw. I've been using it a lot lately in these videos, it seems. No tool brand loyalty or anything. I got red ones, yellow ones, blue ones. This one was on sale. I think I paid 30 bucks for it when Sears was going under. Needed a jigsaw. It's worked well. I don't know. Seems to be fine. I'm going to get this piece cut out real quick. And then you can see on the counter there the tube of power grab and the caulking gun. I'm just caulking these. These are all cut to the same length. My room was actually square, believe it or not. They're close enough to square. Um, so I didn't have to like snap a chalk line. If your room wasn't square, I would snap a square chalk line and use that as a reference mark and then rip my last board uh, in a wedge shape or whatever shape you need to be, scribe it and rip it to fit. Um, but this room was square and it's actually under one board width. There's no seam or anything. So it's fairly straightforward. I cut all these boards. I primed them all. I put two coats of ceiling white paint on them. And then I'm just using the power grab adhesive on the back squeezing them up there and then the nailer you see me using is actually a crown molding stapler um, and it's not actually what's adhering these to the ceilings the adhesive is doing that the construction adhesive the power grab like i said um, this is just holding them in place until they dry so you see me press them up there so some of these are hitting studs some aren't i did keep them all in nice lines so they are in nice lines next to the board by the board next to them uh, these are all going to get filled and painted but that's just a visual thing, uh, keeps everything neat looking. I did two in every board. But the crown stapler just gives you a little bit extra grab into that 5-8 sheetrock that's on the ceiling. Um, so, yeah, just stapling them in, going down the line. It's a, Again, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to mark out and cut the other side of this box, get that board thrown in there, and then uh, move on from there, just one at a time. Keeping them, making sure you hit them in. I knock them in with a little rubber mallet, you know. Make sure your lips are all even, your gap between them. Make sure you're tied up against the ceiling. The ceiling's actually not flat in here. I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me complain about the sheetrock in this house. It is just awful. Has, the texture on the ceiling is horrible. And it's not like it's a popcorn ceiling where I could wet it and scrape it off. It's actually a textured ceiling with drywall texture. So I'd have to float the whole thing or sand it. I don't even want to think about it. So this is a small room. This is an easy solution to make the washroom and laundry room just a super clean, nice looking room and to cover that awful ceiling drywall. Admiring my work here a little bit. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, I'm just dreading getting to the part. I'm about to, what the camera's sitting on right now is actually a, a shelf that I added, a built-in shelf that I added in the kitchen or in the laundry room remodel videos. Check those out if you haven't. Um, so I kind of end up doing a back bend over this shelf off the ladder to install these last few boards. Um, it does work out well. I'm able to use these two uh, header trim pieces over the door and window here to hold these boards while I'm on the ladder. So that's nice. Uh, you know, see? Hands free. Look, Ma, no hands. I'm putting a, a shiplap ceiling in a, in a laundry room. So just getting this one marked out, same process. And again, this is just way more accurate than uh, any other method than trying to measure off the wall. It's just, if you can do this, if it's not a full panel sheet, like the wainscoting on the wall, those are full panels. You kind of have to measure that. I can't really hold that up to the wall and mark it. I wouldn't be able to see the boxes on the wall. Um, same thing when you're doing sheetrock, big panels of sheetrock. Uh, there are tools. There's marking tools. You can push the sheet against the wall and it leaves a square. Well, I mean, eh. Um, but now, in sheetrock anyway, you just use the flush trim uh, bit. And anyway, I'm getting off topic. Back to it. Cut the board marks. And uh, we're doing sheetrock videos next. Stay tuned. After this, uh, this is what I'm currently working on is uh, sheetrocking and finishing the garage to make it all up to fire code and just make it a more finished, nice, brighter space.
Anyway, I got my second board cut. Looks like I'm dry fitting it. Looks pretty good. Take it down, put the glue on it. And then, yeah, again, just nailing these up with a crown stapler. Nothing to it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, cut your boards to length. Mm, staple to ceiling. Use adhesive. The reason I like the power grab, I, I have a clip of it in a second, um, as opposed to any other brand. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, the reason I like power grab, or I started using power grab, old boss of mine, um, it kind of, I describe it to people, it has like a toothpaste consistency. And so it wipes on and comes off really, really easily, especially, you know, when it's still in this wet stage. You can actually stick these boards up there and if it doesn't fit just right, I can pull it back down. You got about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes to work with it. And if you get it on anything, you can just wipe it right off. Uh, you can wash it off with water. Uh, most other construction adhesives, like if you're looking at uh, like floor adhesive or anything, you know, that yellow goopy adhesive, liquid nails, stuff like that. Although liquid nails does make one now that's like Power Grab. Um, if you get them on anything, you know, they're just that beige, horrible color. It's hard as heck to scrape them off. Um, so yeah, I like Power Grab for this sort of uh, finish application. It's a little bit more like caulking, I guess. Um, so yeah, you'll see me here in a second. I get some in between some of the boards. I'm checking all these uh, these nickel gaps as I go down and make sure they stay even. And some adhesive squishes out between them. And I'm able to just use a paper towel and wipe down the crack real quick. No big deal. Uh, if that was any other type of construction adhesive, it would be a big deal. So yeah, just moving right along. This project, I think, total took me like an hour and a half. I'm laughing to myself about something. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. I uh, I don't know. I used too much on a board or something, or I missed the ceiling because I'm leaning over a shelf backwards. I think that's what actually happened is I touched this board to the board next to it. But whatever. Either way, I got glue all down it, and uh, it just wipes right off. Good stuff. Oh, yep, yep. Don't want to have any m misaligned cracks. Perfect. So that's just going to go to a quick shot here of me holding up this last board. I do end up ripping a tiny, tiny piece to go next to this one. I don't have a video of that. I just use the track saw and rip it down. You can use your imaginations. You've seen me use a track saw before. Um, I just end up measuring it, ripping it down. I think the piece ended up total being like an inch and an eighth wide, of course. So I had to clamp it up to the bench and uh, use a track saw super carefully because I still don't have a table saw. But I got it done. We'll flash to a video after I show you how this second to last piece goes in of the finished product. Uh, the laundry room is now done, except I'm still waiting uh, to swap out that sink and do some tile around the backsplash. But other than that, ceiling came out great. It covered the ugly sheetrock. It accomplished its goal. Uh, yeah, the one of the reasons I did it last, you can kind of see there, it made painting the walls easier. I could just go sloppy on the ceiling and not worry about it. And then I did learn my lesson in the other building of this uh, laundry room, and uh, I, I fully painted all these ceiling boards before I put them up. So I just had to touch up where the staples went through. Anyway, here's all the animal heads uh, we got hanging, the little carved animal hooks, and then we'll shoot up here and the finished product. Hope you have a great week. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Go out and build something. Put a shiplap ceiling in your laundry room. Why not? It looks so nice. Now we just got to find a cool light for here. If you have any cool light suggestions, uh, let me know. Cheers.